Hey guys, it's me, Edward Vane, and we are going to mod my InPlay NK680. Here's a quick sound test. Alright, that was it. Now, we need to take off the keycaps, so let's unplug this wire first. Now, we're going to need a keycap puller. Now, just take the keycap puller, one, two, and three. There you go, all the keycaps are off. Now, what we need to do is unscrew the screws. There are six screws here, very easy. So, all you have to do is take a screwdriver. This is probably the easiest part of this mod, screwing and unscrewing. Alright, so it's going to take a while, but just be patient. Again, this is just very easy to do. Now we can take the top part of the keyboard off. Let's take the PCB of this. Let's focus on the case and put it with some foam. So make sure you cut the foam at the right size to fit the case. And you don't have to make any holes normally, I'll just push the foam so that the screw holes will push through it. Okay, so there are actually more than six screw holes because there are some holes for the stabilizers like the keycaps, or sorry, the caps lock and the backspace and the left shift key. Once that's done, it's time for you to tape mod the PCB. Alright, so I've already put three layers to it. I always put three layers, and of course when you're putting it back, you have to put holes to the tape so that the screw holes will push through. Right, so be careful with that. Once you are done, you can now put the PCB back. As you can see here, I already put some holes, so it's easy for me to put it all back. So I count a total of around 12 holes. So all I have to do is push it, and then of course screw back the screws, and everything is all done. Look at that. Okay, now it's time for us to put some keycaps to this board. Now, if you're wondering what kind of keycaps that I will use, I think I'll just use pudding keycap service, especially since it's only, you know, a rainbow lighting effect. But take a spacebar and then drop. There you go. Alright, so I didn't replace the Alt, Fn, Control, and Shift because they don't actually come, or the pudding keycaps didn't actually come with a set for a 65%. But look at the lights of this thing. Pretty awesome. Now here is a sound test. Alright guys, we are finally done with our mod. Pretty simple with the foam mod, and the tape mod, and changing the keycaps. And pudding is actually really good for beginners, especially if the lighting effects are only rainbow lighting effects. Now remember, you can't replace the Alt, Fn, Control, and Shift unless you are buying or you guys bought a specific set of keycaps that can accommodate a 65% board. Since these keycaps from GigaWare are suitable for only 60% or non-compact boards, I couldn't replace the Alt, Fn, Control, and Shift, but that's totally okay. It still has a great sound and it still looks amazing. So remember if you have an NK60 with you or if you have a you know non-hot swappable board, then I do recommend you do the mods that I did with this. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching my video guys. And if you have any questions modding your NK680 or if you want to do a simple mod using your mechanical keyboard, whether it's non-hot swap or hot swap, please comment below. Alright guys, thank you so much. Again, like, subscribe, comment any questions, and if you guys can, please also like my Facebook page. Okay guys, bye!